Hey guys, before we start, gun safety first. Very, very important. Remove the clip, uh, put it in a safe place, and then always check the gun. Make sure that there is no bullet inside. Very, very important. Uh, you don't want to get hurt with these things. This is serious stuff. I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert, I'm not a gun nut, but safety is the most important thing. Even that I know it's empty, I can never look in the barrel. So I see people like just picking it up and just looking in the barrel. I'm like freaking out. So safety first. This is the High Point C9, 9 millimeter, cheapest gun that you could find into a dealer as new. This is the most inaccurate gun I've ever had. Uh, it's fairly hard to hit anything at 50 feet with it, but the reason that I bought it is for protection and reliability and because it's a very very simple gun it never really jams or at least it's very legendary because it doesn't really jam if it's maintained properly um, this gun uh, it is for home protection it will shoot a target at 20 feet across the room or across the house so if you're buying this one just for home protection uh, this will work really, really well if you're a gun lover you're already jumping out of your seat and say, hey, that's a terrible gun. And you are right. Um, this was not designed for accuracy, so no gun nut in this world owned one just because he loves it. Nobody really loves this gun. Uh, but also all those gun nuts out there know that uh, these guns are very, very reliable. So whoever owned one knows that reliability is one of the key pieces of why people would own this gun. The reason that gun nuts don't love them is because not only they are not accurate, uh, but also they're very very hard to take them apart. Uh, this gun you require tools like hammers and pins uh, to remove uh, the slide off of it so you could clean it uh, and properly maintain it. That's what I'm saying is that this is not a dignifying gun uh, to own uh, if you want to just be fancy. This is just purely for home protection. If something breaks, uh, breaks into your house, you just want to spend $150. Uh, that's with background check and everything. You could pick one of these up uh, for about $150 brand new from the dealer. So that's the reason that these guns are made. Uh, they are made in the United States as far as I know. Um, and uh, they are acrylic at the bottom. So this is all plastic towards the bottom and the slide on top is metal. So it's very very top heavy. So you could feel it when you put when you get it in your hand. You could clearly feel it that it has no weight towards the bottom. And because the slide is so heavy, that's why it's so inaccurate because there's so much movement on it when you shoot it. Uh, I'm going to take it apart today just to show you how simple it is inside. I always double check, make sure that it's not loaded. Very very important. To take it apart, what you have to do is you have to lock it into this little place over here. There's a little niche on the slide, so you lock it over here. By the way, this is not a professional video, so for the people that are watching this video right now and saying that I uh, think that I'm going to use some very, very specific terms, uh, I'm not. I'm not a gun nut. I'm just showing you um, how uh, a very, very basic owner um, basically handles one of these very, very basic guns. Um, there is a little a lock that you put it in here. This will free up the uh, uh, pin towards the bottom, which doesn't always line up very, very well, but uh, what you have to do is you have to knock it out of the place uh, so it has to come out on the other side. So you have to knock it from one side to come out to the other side. Doesn't matter which side. I have a little hole in the table, not specifically for this, but I have a little hole in the table and I have a little pick tool like this. And then with a little hammer, you could knock that pin out. And there it is. The little pin comes out. Um, has a specific name, as I said, I'm not making a how-to video, I'm just showing you how easy it's actually to take apart. Um, obviously, it's not a dignifying process, you don't have little tabs that you just pull on like the uh, other, other manufacturers have out there. And now, very, very important, it happened to me, I lost the spring before, what you want to do is you want to put it towards, towards the table, first you have to release this little, this little safety, and then it will split from the bottom, so very, very important when you split it, there it is. See, that's the spring that I was telling you that is going to shoot out. So this spring always shoots out and uh, I've, I've tried so hard to do it without losing it and it's impossible. There's only three pieces. Even though I've seen videos of people taking this gun apart, there is the firing pin, 
there is the uh, uh, firing pin spring and there's this little stopper. Um, I've seen people having a double spring over here on their model. Mine never came with one from the first day I got it. So I'm not sure if I'm missing something or not. Uh, it fires just fine, but maybe people put like a stronger spring over it because there's like an extra spring that sits over here on top, uh, which I don't think it's necessarily from this gun. It looks kind of like an add-on kind of a thing. So I think that this is the, this, this is all it comes from the manufacturer. So there's three, three pieces over there, uh, and then the slide comes uh, off. Uh, the slide doesn't have any moving parts in it. It has just a little claw that pulls the, the bullet out. And it's just, as I said, it's a fairly heavy slide. Um, and then the gun uh, has the recoil spring in the front with a little plastic tab towards the front of the gun. So this one stays here, and then this is the gun. So the, the, this really, that's, that's it. Uh, to clean it, that's all you have to do is uh, basically um, clean these little pieces over here. So there's like a little... Um, uh, this is like a little mechanism over here. They could just uh, um, clean up with uh, with uh, uh, the normal cleaner that you get for for the gun, like a gun cleaner, and then uh, you just oil it. Like in my case, I've just oiled it recently. I'm just remaking this video for you guys. Um, so it's already oiled. You could remove this uh, two little. Um, uh, screws over here on the side and these little tabs come out and there's like some more other pieces over there but uh, for just normal functionality you don't really have to do anything very very short barrel um, as I said this is not a gun to impress but it's uh, an impressive gun to have uh, if somebody breaks into your house because it will shoot uh, across the room very very well it will make a bang and it's very very reliable because there's just so few moving parts as you can see on this table I have barely any moving any parts uh, it's just so uh, so reliable. There are very, very few things that actually can, 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 can make this one hurt. To put it back together, very, very simple. Just put the recoil spring in, and then uh, take the slide, put the firing pin in through the back over here, uh, put the spring through, um, and then put this little tab, doesn't matter which direction, uh, just put it through, and then uh, all you have to do is just put the barrel through the hole, so make sure that the barrel goes through the hole, uh, arm the, uh, arm the uh, firing, the slide uh, spring, and then this little metal piece that will have to get into the little slot. There's like a little slot over there. It has to go into that slot, and then now you could lock it back into place. So now it's locked, uh, and you're ready to put your, your pin back in that holds everything together. Not the most dignifying gun uh, to, uh, to um, have, but uh, just firing uh, bullets across the room, as I said, it works really, really well. It's purely for home protection. So right now, I always verify, make sure that the bullets load up. So right now, it's loaded. I'm going to take the clip out. Uh, gun is loaded very, very, very careful with it. And right now, the bullet will come out and it will be ejected. So I always uh, verify, make sure that one of the bullets goes through, make sure I put it back together. But as I said, it's so hard to put it together the wrong way, it's almost uh, impossible. So um, you, you can't do anything uh, to harm it. Uh, also, I clean the clip from time to time. So this little clip that I have, I take it apart. There's little two little tabs over here on the side. This plastic piece comes off, and then there's a spring, and there's a metal tab that travels up and down. As I said, I don't know the terminology for it. But what I do is I take it apart, I, I clean it, I oil it, put bullets back in, and this gun is ready to um, be kept uh, on the side of the bed. Uh, I have a little holster over here that protects this trigger, uh, so I keep it in this little holster, and I don't keep one on the barrel. I'm not prepared for war. I'm, uh, I, I, I don't know what are the, 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 what is the time between when somebody breaks into your house, how long it takes to put one on the slide. The, the truth is that I don't want to shoot anybody. Um, so if that's going to deter people, just get away, then that's, that's, that's all I need it for. So this is the high point, cheapest gun that you could find on the market uh, right now. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I have some other videos on my channel. If you want to check them out, uh, please do so. Also, at the bottom of the video, there is a, a link for Amazon affiliates. If you want to sponsor uh, uh, my, my, uh, my channel, all you have to do is just um, check out the uh, link. Uh, at no cost to you, what Amazon will do, throw me a couple of pennies my way. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, Crazy Romanian, out.